We, we live in this world now where, you know, the term astronaut is kind of being more generalized. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we have obviously the, the gold standard of the NASA professional astronaut. Um, we have our private citizen astronauts, like what SpaceX is doing, uh, and, and Axiom and stuff like that. And then we have our space flyers, like Blue Origin and, and Virgin Galactic. Um, what is your guys' take on that? What, what does astronaut mean to you? Um, should we return it? I'm just, it, it's kind of a bigger question of what does an astronaut become here in the next 10, 20 years? I'll let Emily take that. Okay. First. <laughs> uh, I, kinda, I, have, I, I sort of have an answer for this. Um, I think as the roles are changing, you know, uh, we're seeing mm. a lot of, uh, just just to use an example, uh, late, more recently we saw Emily Calandrelli, who's an amazing space communicator, go to yeah. space uh, on Blue Origin. Um, I think the, I think the the term the, I almost think the definition of astronaut is changing as the roles in society are changing mm -hmm. you know because you know we're seeing um I, I think anybody who's brave enough to per, this is my personal feeling I, I doubt I, I I'm sure that many do not feel this way and that is perfectly fine um I'm sure I'll have plenty of people in my inbox disagreeing with me and I'm okay <laughs> with that but um I think, you know, you know, uh, I think as roles change in society, the, the term is going to mean something maybe a little different, mm. you know, it, it doesn't necessarily, um, and, and not to insult Bruce's, your father by any stretch, but I, I think, you know, uh, you know, when, during his day as a NASA astronaut, you know, he saw a lot of change in the space program. Mm. You know, he started at NASA, it was all white pilots, right? Um, and then, you know, as he, you know, when he retired in 1990, you know, he had worked with Kathy Sullivan, who's a woman spacewalker, an incredible thinker, a PhD, you know, I mean, really the definition for astronaut had changed in that time as well. And I think as we go into the future, it's going to continue to change. I think anybody who's brave enough to get strapped onto a rocket and go to the or above the uh carmen line it deserves that i would love to do that but my family would probably kill me because they'd be <laughs> freaked out the whole time uh that's not an easy or break or not you know that's not an easy or a uh harmless thing to do i'm trying to put it in a nice way yeah in a nice way so um yeah i think as as society changes i think the the term is going to change and also in the eight i remember growing up as a kid they would call, you know, French astronauts, space astronauts, or, you know, Chinese astronauts, taikonauts and that right. stuff. And I'm like, why can't we just call them, you know, astronauts that they, they're going to space, they're doing the same thing as we're doing in the United States. It, mm. It's the same thing, you know? Mm. So I think the, the, as the term changes, it might mean something a little different, but I think they all deserve to be called astronauts, in my opinion. If you're brave enough to do that, you deserve to have the title i think hmm. so that's my those are my thoughts and again i'm sure i'll get a lot of people in my inbox how dare you you know and <laughs> okay that's fine yeah i'm actually writing a note to you in your inbox right now because, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> because i just i disagree i mean i think i think uh, you know if if you go up on uh, uh you know god bless them but if you go up on a blue origin flight um uh, <clears throat> as a passenger you're a passenger, you know, you, you, you technically, yeah, you're an astronaut in the sense that you are a space sailor, I guess. But, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but I think, I think the term astronaut should be, or some other term, we should have some other, some other more specialized uh, categorization for someone who ha has responsibility for flying and or operating some, some portion of the, uh, uh, of, uh, of the objectives, uh, I'm not saying this very well. Either flying this the spaceship uh, or performing uh, tasks related to its mission. Uh, those mm -hmm. those people are the astronauts. Otherwise, I'm just along for the ride. I mean, you know, the the the, uh, the Soviets took up a uh, I don't know if it's the Soviets or the Russians at this point. They took up a Japanese journalist yeah. uh, way back when this sort of thing was just starting to happen, and and uh, uh, he certainly wasn't an astronaut. Uh, he spent most of his time vomiting and and. Um, <laughs> 
trying to trying to file his stories. Um, uh, so yeah, he was up there in space, but I, I I wouldn't call him an astronaut. I wouldn't have called Bill Nelson an astronaut or Jake Garn or uh, uh, of course I'd I'd call Bill Shatner an astronaut because he did all those missions on the, on the Enterprise, but <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but not not on the basis of his Blue Origin flight. So so we I think we disagree a little bit on that, uh, which is fine. I mean I, you know I I'd, I'd go in a minute. Um, but I wouldn't consider yeah. myself an astronaut, I guess. I have an addendum. I, I do agree, and I, I'm i probably going to catch flack from this from the other side of people. I do agree what your dad did is com almost, it's completely different from what, you know, someone who's more of a passenger did. I mean, this mm -hmm. was somebody who trained for a very long time and actually sure. designed hardware, yeah. which is um, on another level complete. I mean, he designed the friggin' jetpack. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. a little different from, you know, if they somebody called me it was like hey emily you want to take a ride in a spaceship like i'm not designing the spaceship you know so I well do. no I, I i get it i'm, I'm not i'm not the, i i have no concern about that whatsoever i mean he could you know he, he, i'm not i'm not trying to defend him in any way i'm just saying you know when you no, when you fly I, when you fly on an airplane you got your you got your your crew uh and the pilot and the, uh, the co-pilot and your and your uh, uh um we, we used to call them, you know, stewardesses. I guess they're uh, uh, what are they? What are they called? Flight attendants. I <laughs> Flight think. attendants now. Flight yeah. attendants. Yeah. Uh, and then you have your passengers, and and um, so I think eventually we'll get to the point where we we make those sort of distinctions for space flight as well. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, float atten float, there'll be float attendants at that point. Float like attendants. Flight like attendants. <laughs> <laughs> we uh here we we had some of our our listeners we we called um the Carmen line jumpers space flyers is what we're using right now. Um, but it, it's all, it's all very fluid. Like I, I agree. Oh, I, think I agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's definitely something special about being a professional astronaut and then being on that jetpack and having the trust mm -hmm. and faith in that thing is just, it's just wild. I, I watch that picture and I get anxiety and excitement, but mostly anxiety because of yeah. how poorly it could have gone. And it didn't luckily, but <laughs> it definitely could have. <laughs> Well, right. And to your point, I mean, look at Jared Isaacman. I mean, he's a, mm. he's a, a, a private astronaut, but he, uh, but he trained and, and, uh, accomplished the first civilian, uh, spacewalk. I, I mean, uh, you know, it wasn't exactly a spacewalk in the sense that Leonov or Ed White or, or someone right. else did, but it was, a he, he stuck his body out, uh, out of the, uh, out of the spaceship and, and, uh, communed with earth evidently. So I call that not a space walk, but a space grok. And, you know, they depressurize the cabinets or they, I don't know. I mean, that, that sort of looks like astronaut stuff to me. So you're right. It's a yeah. fluid, you know, sort of like the Carmen line. I mean, no one knows exactly where space starts and the mm. atmosphere ends. So uh, maybe Jared Isaacman is right there at the, uh, right there at the Carmen line somehow, figuratively. Yeah.